Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is, there is a problem with your games setup. Please reinstall your game. So if you're receiving this error with FC25, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First step is to install Visual C++ file. So copy this link. Uh, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Now download x86 and x64 file. So click on x86. Now run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now download this x64 file as well. Now run this exe file. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. And let the installation complete make sure both are in, installed now once both are installed you will see a restart option so make sure that you restart your computer after this you restart is a must and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working in that case go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed so for example for steam users make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files and once you go to the game installation folder open this installer folder and then open this vc folder and here you can see all the visual file visual c++ file so open this vc 2012 redis make a double click on each file click on repair or install whatever you see and let it complete click close it now again make a double click repair click on yes to allow and let it complete go back and do the same thing with the second folder 2013 reduced x64 repair click on yes and then close this open this repair click on yes to allow close this now again go back do the same thing with this 2015 17 19 if you receive any kind of error while running these files just ignore it so select it install it if you receive this error just ignore it just complete the process. So do the same thing with each folder and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is important. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security in Windows 10 and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working, then you can use go to Windows 11 website the link is provided in the video description. If you have Windows 11, go to this website. Once you are on Microsoft website, now click on download now and then run this exe file. And you, if there is any update, click on yes to allow. If there is any update, update it. If you see the update or install option, just do it. And Windows 10 users, again, you can copy this link and do the same thing. Go to Microsoft website and then here you can see update now option click on update now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow if there is any update you just go ahead and update your windows 10 now still you are facing the problem then the next step is to open control panel just type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to uninstall a program and over here you will see visual c++ file so you can uninstall visual c++ file so uninstall Microsoft Visual C++ file from, from here. And then you can go to this website once again. So the link is provided in the video description, the first link. And then you can install the Visual C++ file again. So after you uninstall it, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go to this website, download x86 and x64, install it, and then again restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to up install media feature pack. Now, if you're using N version of Windows, and this is for N version of Windows only. So if you're using N version of Windows, then you can go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now here you can see the instruction. If you have Windows 10 N edition, go to settings, apps, apps and feature, optional features, add a feature, and then type in media feature pack in the box. 
in the search box type in media feature pack and then put a check on the media feature uh, pack and then install it restart your computer and then launch if you have windows 11 in addition in that case you can go to settings again the same settings apps optional features view features type in media feature pack install it restart your computer or you can i don't have windows 11 in addition so you can go to system you might find optional feature over here and then you can click on view feature and then you can type in media feature pack and put a check on the box install it restart your computer either you will find it over here or you will find it in the system and then you can go to optional features now still your face or you can simply switch to normal windows 10 or 11 edition if you can now the next step is to run ea app steam or epic games launcher as an administrator so if you have steam if you have the game on steam you can close steam once you close steam now type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and then you can launch the game if you have the game on e app you can just close e app and then again make a uh, just type in e app make a right click on e app run as administrator similarly if you have epic games launcher close epic games launcher and then you can run as administrator and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to install direct x now for this first of all go to this location so open file explorer in computer go to this pc open c drive now open its windows folder now find system 32 folder now over here you will see you, you have to find this d3 d compiler 43.dl So here you can see d3d compiler underscore 43 dot dll so be before we delete it just create a backup you can copy this file and you can paste it to the desktop so if something wrong happens you can always put it back now once you have this uh, backup now you can make a right click and then you can delete this now once this is deleted now you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see this file has this compiler d that file so click on download and then you can run this file click on yes to allow and then accept next uncheck install bing bar i don't want it next This may take a couple of seconds or maybe a few minutes and once done click on next again next now click on finish now if you go back to the system 32 and right now we don't have that file so make just make a right click and you can refresh it So the file is back now you can launch the game and then check next step is to repair or verify the game files so for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete now you can launch the game and then check similarly if you have the game on e app click on manage and then drop down option will show you repair option in my case it's a link to steam so i don't see it but when you click on manage you will see the repair option just click on repair and once the repair is done you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install any free games like apex legend and then you can run the game just for maybe for a few minutes few seconds close it and then run fc25 so if you have apex you can search the game in the just download any free game ea free game and then you can just install it download it run it for a few seconds few minutes and then you can run fc25 do the same thing in steam you can just find the game apex legion install it download it run it and then launch fc25 next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if if not working you can just uh, make a right click just click on manage over here uninstall it you will see the uninstall option over here and if you have the game on steam just uninstall the game make a right click manage uninstall 
Now after the uninstall, restart your computer. And go to the game installation folder. Before restart, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, then restart your computer, and then reinstall the game and then check. Now the last step is to update your Windows using Media Creation 2. If you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on Accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on Next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now, once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now, for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also, you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file. Then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop. And then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop. Find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file. Make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.